ads. Uh, last week, the ads didn't show up on my um, driveway like they normally do because I like to use the printed versions uh, because Aldi, instead of just doing their sneak peek, they'll send like the full printed ad that starts tomorrow in my area. So I like to look at that and make my meal plan based on whatever is on sale. And that's what I recommend doing if you're trying to uh, stretch your grocery budget. Always get the ads from your local grocery store, see what they're offering that week, and then write down what you think you can use this week and what you might wanna like bulk buy. So for instance, if they have like less than $2 a pound for chicken or ground beef, that's a great option to buy a lot, like as many, um, our stores, it's like a 10 pound limit or as much as your budget will allow and then separate it into smaller portions and freeze it for later. That's the biggest way that I save money on groceries is you know just bulking up when I see a really good deal. And if I only have so much in my budget, I'll just make a little bit more room for that bulk buy and then reduce the budget on some of the other things just so I can, um, you know, like if I don't have money handy to sort of spend that extra, I'll just maybe not buy the snacks or things that maybe we just wanted but we didn't need, just so I can make sure I can bulk up. And over time, uh, you won't have to, you know, take money out here and there. It'll just be like ingrained in the budget, the weekly budget. So um, it'll work over time too. So it doesn't, um, it ends up costing you a lot less in the long run. So let's get into it. I see some things on the Aldi ad that look pretty good to me. I'm gonna grab these $1.69 blueberries. That is um, a pint. Plus they have 89 cent pineapples and the pineapples have been looking pretty good, so I'm excited. Then $3.99 for 12 ounces of shrimp. And this shrimp uh, is, I don't see the size. It just says jumbo. So I don't know if jumbo, you know, what size. But usually if it says like 31 or 31, 34, um, or I don't know, 36, 38. Those numbers on the shrimp tell you how many shrimp come in a pound. So the smaller the number, the bigger the shrimp. So if it's only 12 per you know pound, obviously you're getting some really big shrimp. If it's like 40 per pound, you're getting a tiny little shrimp. So that just keep that in mind when you're shopping for shrimp. So this, the words like jumbo mean something different <laughs> to everybody, I think. Uh, let's see, they're doing 29 cent cilantro and 49 cent a pound red onions. So I'd probably do the red onions and 99 cent celery. So that's definitely something I would grab because celery lasts a long time in the refrigerator and you can use it for so many different things. And uh, with the cilantro and red onions, you can make a really good homemade salsa with that with some fresh tomatoes and some seasonings and a little bit of lime juice. Um, I should share that recipe soon too with you. And I do see $1.99 a pound for a boneless pork butt roast too right over here. And $3.99, wait, $6.99 for a 1.33 pound gourmet Angus beef burgers. And I'm not sure, it says gourmet, so I'm not sure if that's gonna be Wagyu or what kind of beef that's gonna be. So I'm interested to see that when I go to the store. Just to see, it's a little pricey for me in our budget. We try to stay under $50 a week. <laughs> My son's on his tablet. We try to stay under $50 a week now for a family of four. I have two little kids, so that's obviously gonna vary um, you know, depending on when they get bigger and eat more. My, my daughter started eating more lately, so uh, we may have to increase the budget eventually, but $50 a week actually works really well, and we're still able to get everything that we want just by shopping ads and going to the store that's the cheapest in our area, which is Aldi for us. But I am gonna be going over the Vons ad too to show you what I might buy there. And let's see what else is on sale. So they have some of their regular low prices here. They've got meat sticks for $1.69, some feta for $1.49. So that'd be great to add to a salad or um, you can use feta to make a grilled cheese instead of shredded cheese. Um, just put some like zucchini and red peppers, saute that in like little slices and then add the feta and some uh, Italian seasoning. That would be a really good lunch. And let's see, $2.29 for coconut water. $2.49 for these wraps here, but that's not a huge discount, only a 50 cent discount. And then, of course, they have a lot of summer stuff this week in the value aisle tomorrow on, on this channel on YouTube. I'll post, um, I guess I'm going to film it tomorrow and then I'll post it the following day. But um, I will post um, all of the aisle, the value aisle that I see at our, our store. Plus, I'll show you the grocery haul and how much um, I get for, you know, our budget, which is around $50. But I am working on another meal plan for two weeks. So it's, I don't know when it's gonna be ready, in the next couple weeks probably, but it's gonna be two weeks for $75, I think, 70 to 75 depending on prices. So I'm working on that, so stay tuned for that too. So I should be shopping for that soon, probably this week, um, 
just kind of depends on <laughs> when I find the time. So next, um, we're gonna be doing Vons and Albertsons. This is a Safeway brand. So uh, you might have Safeway or Albertsons or Vons. But here they're doing $1.83 for sliced or shredded cheese. Keep in mind though, this is only for six to eight ounces. So Aldi, you can get like 12 ounces of cheese anytime for like $2.50 um, up to $3.99. I think they have, um, it's like a whole pound of cheese for $3.99. So, you know, it's not such a, a huge deal to get it here. You could probably just get it at Aldi for a similar price. And then Lucerne half gallons are $1.83. And they've got peaches or nectarines for $1.83. And this is something I recommend picking up if your kids like fruit, because these types of fruit last a really long time in the fridge. Peaches don't last as long as nectarines. Nectarines are similar to plums, kind of with um, like a, ple a plum and a peach put together, I think. So that's what, how I describe it. <laughs> it has a, like the texture of a plum. But anyway, so I'll pick up something like this when it's like $1.83 less than two pounds. And um, I'll also do things like apples, pears, oranges, if they're on sale put those in the fridge and that way you have a lot of variety because you know, when you pick up two or three pounds at a time there's only so many you can eat and if you buy you know bananas which are usually a pretty good deal you can have like a nice variety of fruit all the time without breaking the bank so don't spend five dollars on nectarines wait till it's a dollar 83 pick up some and then the next week see what's on sale pick up that fruit so this week we'll probably pick up the blueberries and I still have nectarines in my fridge so I'm probably not going to go to Vaughn's because their best deal is $2.99 on chicken breasts and I've seen it go under $2 so I'm not going to take advantage of that. Um, I'll wait till it drops less than $2 again and they do have some fun meal plan ideas that I saw um, online. They, they have it here on page two so they give you some ideas for some um, meal ideas that you can do. One of them is breakfast for dinner which is funny, I love that idea, but I rarely do it. And I actually am going to be having a recipe in my next meal plan for breakfast for dinner, but it's gonna be a really filling one and it's gonna go like um, in a casserole dish and it's gonna be <clears throat> pretty easy. And it can be made like in advance the night before. So stay tuned for that. And they are um, mentioning a steak night, which is obviously cheaper at home. Barbecue chicken night, which is nice because they have the $1.99 um, Sweet Baby Rays right now. So you could do that and put it in a crock pot and make some really yummy shredded chicken that you can pair like they're saying with like, you know, corn um, or maybe just some box mac and cheese. Aldi has one for 50 cents. So that could be really budget friendly, especially if you find a really good deal on chicken. Then they're recommending shrimp pasta night, which is interesting because Aldi's got that shrimp on sale. So you could get a bag of shrimp for $3.99. Although it's definitely not the cheapest protein, but um, if you're using the protein, like the meats as a garnish, then you can save a lot more money. So instead of everyone getting their fill on meat, you can put other things like more veggies and a carb to go with it. A complex carb would be better um, or a grain or something like that if you can. And then just do a little bit of meat, not like a ton of meat. So bulk up on the veggies instead and uh, focus on some other filling things, not just the meat. And you can let it stretch, but still $3.99 you know, it's kind of a lot. So I guess it just depends. I like to buy my meat at like $2 a pound or less than $2 a pound. Um, in my area, I'm able to see when that happens like in the weekly ads. So I just kind of like follow along. Okay, so I don't have anything written on my um, meal plan. This, um, I, I need to put this in the description for you, but it's on Amazon. It's just my little, the way that I keep track of my weekly meal planning and my grocery list. And I also have like notes pages in the back and um, inventory sheets in the front. So this is just how I'm able to stay on budget. I just use this little thing. You can use a piece of paper. You don't really need like a book. It's just, the, <laughs> this is easier for me to find and it sticks right in my backpack so I remember to bring it to the store. So um, I need to write my list. So I know for sure I'm gonna be doing those $1.69 blueberries. So what I'll do is I'll make sure I write down what it is I'm getting. And if I have to, if I'm going to two stores, I'll make sure I write the store that I'm getting it at. And then I'll always write, oh, hold on, my son. Hold on, buddy, you gotta have your headphones on for now, okay? Otherwise you can't have any sound, okay? I'm almost done, okay, almost done. Yeah. You want it louder? Okay, you got it. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so I'll make sure that I write down what it is I'm getting and the price, so that way, Sometimes when you get to the store, you're like, wait a minute, I thought this was gonna be cheaper and you don't have the ad with you. You'll know like, oh right, I was supposed to get the one that was $1.69, not the $2 one. So um, it just it helps me like figure out what exactly I'm 
going to be paying before I go to the store and what I should expect to see when I get to the store. So I would normally get a pineapple too for 89 cents, but um, they kind of, I don't know if anyone has any tips or tricks for getting rid of like the way that a pineapple like hurts your mouth when you eat too much because the last one I bought, <laughs> it hurt our mouths. So we're like, eh, kind of not feeling the pineapple lately. Um, I do want to make some salsa though. So I'm probably going to pick up some red onions. We grow um, tomatoes in the yard. So I know there's a couple that are getting red right now. So I'm hoping in the next couple weeks, I'll have some ready for, um, for salsa. So I'll just go ahead and write that down with the price. And then I may not get cilantro now though, because I don't have the tomatoes yet, but the onions are a good price. Oh yeah, and then I want to do celery for 99 cents. And so this is what I have from the ad. I know I have meats on hand, so I always shop my pantry first. So that's another thing. After I look at the ads, I'll shop my pantry before I go to the store so I can kind of um, take what I have on hand and put it together with what's in the ads and then see what else I need to pick up when I get there. So I'm not just buying random stuff like, oh, this might be good and this might be good and I can do something with that. Um, because I noticed I did that and then I was spending like a hundred or more a week just on all this extra stuff. So now I try to focus more on like what's on sale, what can I make for the week? And I don't have as much stock on hand, but I do still have uh, plenty you know i have um, in the freezer ground turkey ground beef i have um, chicken breasts um, I, we just had some breakfast sausage we just used that the other day and that was in the freezer too i just buy it when i see it on sale buy it in bulk separate it and put it in the freezer so i'll shop my freezer and my fridge and see you know what kinds of cheeses and pastas and rice and all that stuff that i have and then i can decide and make a meal plan from there so what's today tuesday so yesterday we did make your own pizza because last week we ended up with so many leftovers from the spaghetti and everything that i made that we didn't need to do um you know an extra meal which was nice because that saved us a little bit of money and then we went out to eat on the weekend for father's day so let's see and had some more leftovers so make your own pizza night Make your own pizza. And let's see if there's anything last week that I also didn't, because we had so much spaghetti. I made a huge spaghetti. <laughs> and last week I made the chicken schnitzel and it was really good. I made it with the frozen um, garlic and sage spatzel from um, Aldi and that was so good. It was weird because it was like recommending that you microwave it. And I was like, okay, well that was the recommended way to make it and I did and it turned out so good. It was cheesy and it was, it was just like the perfect texture. It was delicious. So if I see that on sale this week, I'm, I'm gonna keep my eye out actually for the frozen spatzel. I'm gonna put that on my list so I don't forget to check the freezer section. Um, it should be around $2 if it's on sale. So I will grab more of that because I did see like a cheesy spatzel that I wanna try. And that's a great side, it was giant. It was probably like four to six people's worth, you know, of side, of a little side. Um, it was great. So I would definitely recommend picking that up too from Aldi. And let's see. So if you have any recommendations for what I should make with my ground meats, please put them down below. And let's see. I'm thinking, what else do I want to get? I have rice. I have pasta. I have some diced tomatoes. I have tomato sauce. Katie's Kitchen, you said that canned pineapple doesn't hurt your mouth. Oh, that's interesting. So maybe change it, the cooking changes that you said. Hmm, I'll have to look into that because I definitely don't want to let go of pineapple because it can be such a good price and it's got so many you know good things in it that I, I want to be able to buy it. So maybe I'll pick one up and then kind of play around with it and see. Um, maybe cooking it. Oh, I could, I could grill it. <gasps> that would be so good. Okay, I'm going to write that down. 89 cents. Thank you so much. Okay. So pineapple, 89 cents. I'll write that down. So I have that and I'll shop for that too. I do have that new pineapple core I got from the value aisle. I think it was like $4.99. So I want to try that out too. So I'll do that. Maybe do some grilled pineapple. Let's see. I'll write that down on the top too. So I get that idea. I might have to play around with this. And once y'all comment and give me some meal ideas and I might make my full meal plan, but I definitely won't have to go over $50 because I have all my meat. Um, there's no meat on sale right now. So I could probably even go less than that. And I do have mozzarella cheese. I have a lot of mozzarella cheese on hand. So maybe if they have more of that dough, the pizza dough from Aldi was $1.29 each. And we were able to make 
a large pizza, like 12 inch pizza, 14 inch pizza, maybe it was bigger than that, 16 inch pizza, it's pretty big. Um, it was enough for me and my husband for dinner, plus some for leftovers for lunch for both me and him. And then the kids, I cut their dough into quarters and they each got their own little personal pizza and I made breadsticks. So it was plenty and $1.29 each. So um, I'll look for that again because if I have mozzarella, I can make, you know what, I do have, um, I do have a lot of pasta. So maybe I could make something like maybe a lasagna or a bake, like a, a pasta bake. So I'm gonna put that on for, maybe I'll do that tonight. Okay. So I'll look at that because if I don't have to buy anything, then I won't. And then something to do with rice, maybe a chicken and rice dish. And I found out that you can just make um, cream of chicken soup from scratch, super fast and easy without any of like the extra salt and stuff. So I'm gonna try to play around with some recipes this week doing that. Um, I made my own tortillas the other night too, and that turned out good, and it was super budget friendly. So I wanna include that in my next budget meal. It was just flour, water, salt, and oil. And I just made a quick dough and then, you know, rolled it and flattened it, and it was super easy. Um, what else? What else can I do? So something with chicken and rice so I can make some more tortillas. And I have, I think I have some frozen veggies too. It might just be corn and peas. So maybe like a casserole. Casseroles are easy and some people don't like casseroles, that's fine. If you don't like casseroles, you can always just like saute up the corn and peas separate and do the rice separate. Maybe make like a Spanish style rice with um, tomato sauce and seasonings. And then just, you know, do your chicken on the side. But I love casseroles. Uh, Cause you know, everything all in one dish <laughs> or one pan meals. I make a really yummy, um, no bake bell pepper casserole. It's really good. I'll have to, I don't have any bell peppers though. My, my bell pepper plant though is going crazy. So I might have bell peppers, um, in like a month or two. Okay. So I don't really see, I'm not going to go to Vons. I'm just going to go to Aldi. And a lot of times when I walk into Aldi, I see a lot more deals um, that they have at my local store just based on what they have on hand and they decide that they need to get rid of. So the deals are usually incredible. So when I get there, I can also kind of play around with what kind of side I wanna do with my chicken and rice. Um, so as long as I know like what kind of meats I have on hand, once I get there, if I see like spinach is on sale, oh, I can make a salad. Um, I always keep oil and vinegar on hand and I make my own dressing here so I don't waste money on dressings. Um, because we only ever need a tiny amount at a time. So instead of keeping like getting this one bottle for two or three dollars, I just buy my balsamic, which I use for like hundreds of things. And then of course, any oil, I use olive oil for my dressing. But like, you know, the sky's the limit with oil, <laughs> you know? You can use it for a lot of things. So that's one way that I save money. I've actually started making our own ranch every time we need it. Instead of keeping a giant bottle for six, seven dollars, I'll just either use sour cream or Greek yogurt, one or the other, then mayo, a little bit of milk and then a bunch of seasonings and that makes our ranch and I can either do that you know for dipping um, you know whatever chicken nuggets or something or put it on pizza <laughs> put it on a salad you know it's ranch so um, I don't really buy dressings anymore which is nice and I don't have to buy buttermilk or anything like that I'm learning a lot of different recipes on how to like stretch everything instead of going to the store and just buying all these, oh, I need this one ingredient and that one and this one. So I have a stockpile though, you know, in my pantry of all the different kinds of seasonings. And I do recommend that if you see something on sale, grab it and keep it, you know, um, like seasonings, cumin, cayenne, chili powder, um, poultry seasoning, just anything that you, you like or you wanna try. If, if it's cheap, like a dollar, I think Aldi has most their spices for a dollar, or you can go into the um, Hispanic food section and they have them in a bag for like 85 cents, 89 cents um, for as much as you get in the bottle and you can save money that way too. So you can get cumin, like a whole thing of cumin for 89 cents. Um, so definitely do that. And I have obviously my oils that I keep on hand all the time. Um, I always have flour, salt, um, cornstarch, pepper, you know, lots of things that I can do, that I can do a number of things with. And I just include that in my budget as I need it. So if I need more butter, that's in the budget. If I need more flour, that's in the budget. So I just make room. I don't add, you know, so people are like somebody, um, I posted once that I was shopping my pantry for five weeks, only spending $25 on fresh things a week. 
And somebody's like, yeah, if you have thousands of dollars in stockpile, it's like, no, that's not the case. It's just that every time I go shopping, I make sure that I write my list in advance and make sure if I'm out of something, I replace it and that comes out of the budget. And so I don't have thousands of dollars of stuff on hand. It's all within my budget. I didn't, you know, stock up or anything like that. Um, it's just like planning ahead and thinking in the long run. And if something is not perishable and it's inexpensive, it's on sale, then I'll buy, you know, enough in my budget that I can afford to keep on hand, you know? Let's see. Let me check the comments here. Blacken seasoning to your ranch. Oh my gosh, that sounds so good. Adding blackened season to my ranch. You know, I, I always thought, like, what can I add to this ranch to, like, you know, uh, zhuzh it up a bit? You want to go outside? Oh, you want the doggy to eat that? Okay, all right. I'll let him in in just a minute, okay? Are you all done with your sandwich? Baby boy? It's cold. Oh, you want to freeze it? You want to put it in the fridge? Okay, can you put it away for mommy and we'll put it in the fridge, okay? So thank you so much for that tip, Katie's Kitchen. Thank you. Yeah, you definitely don't need thousands of dollars. I don't know. I think they were just surprised. I'm going to show you my pantry just so you can see. Um, I think they were just surprised because, like, I keep it organized for the most part. Right now it's kind of messy, but I'll show you what it looks like. Right now, yeah, it's really messy, but you're going to see my messy pantry. So I think people are just surprised when they look at it because when you look at it from afar, you kind of think, like, wow, you have a lot of stuff. But we actually don't, you know, these are all, this is like hot sauces from Christmas. And um, I've got some like seasonings, you know, and oils and my baking supplies over here. And then we've got, you know, some chia seeds. And like a lot of these things are from like, I don't know, a year ago. <laughs> so it's like, I just, oh, and my son is showing you our cookies from Target. We had a discount. So we got cookies, huh, bud? So a lot of this stuff, it just looks like it's full, but I don't have anything. Oh, this one? Yes, and we have cashews. Thank you. Um, I got these for like, uh, I got them on sale for like 20 cents each. So I stocked up. And so oh, these are old and I probably need to throw them away. <laughs> and we got some um, s'mores goodies, of course. <laughs> My son's showing everybody. Good job. So it's like, it looks full, but it's actually just um, a lot of seasonings, a lot of backup stuff. Um, there's, you know, pre, this is my prepackaged stuff, stuff that just is like shelf stable um, or like I need a quick meal, but it's, it's not stuff that I buy like every week, you know? <laughs> and so um, somebody said I don't have to explain myself, but um, I just like to be transparent, you know, and show people like, this is my collection of, you know, just budget shopping over the years. A lot of these spices last even past the best buy date. And so a lot of them are just like years of, okay, I've seen that on sale. Um, especially some spices with so much sodium in them, they last like a long time, a long, long time. And I can't even go through them. Like that giant thing of um, chicken uh, bouillon or whatever up there, it lasts a long time. <laughs> so let's see. You get food bank sales. Let's see, your sister discards it. Your mom, yeah, my mom actually gives me things too that they can't eat. And so I'll take anything. I'll take any food um, and we'll, we'll use it and put it into another dish. Or if they're like, well, we're just not going to use it before we go on a trip, I'll take it. I'll take anything. I can freeze it for later. Um, absolutely. And if there's a food bank nearby, definitely take advantage of that. There's a lot of free food, actually. We just had one um, across the street, actually, a few weekends ago, and they did it every weekend where no questions asked. You just go wait in line and get your free groceries. So um, take a look at, you know, what they've got going on in your city, and they might have um, food bank things or just drive up groceries for free. Um, and again, they, it's no questions asked. So you, you just get whatever they have on hand and they give you the box. Um, it, no shame, you know, take it, oops, take advantage of what you can get for free. You know, I mean, money's tight these days. I mean, come on, what are you going to do? Let's see what else. Mama, yeah. <laughs> the s'mores fixing. Yeah. You want to eat this? You like, he likes breadcrumbs. <laughs> you want to give me a bowl? This? You already have chocolate, but you can have one of these. Want one of those? Yeah. Okay. You got your sandwich? Did you put it in the fridge? <laughs> yeah, we, we picked up the s'mores goodies on sale um, because they did like, um, it was like the beginning of summer sale where if you buy, um, you know, the marshmallows and the Hershey's and the, uh, uh, what do you call it? graham crackers then you'd get like a two dollars off or something so we did that because we um we got a fire pit 
from Aldi for $37. So that was a steal and I'm very excited. So we're gonna be making s'mores outside this summer. We already tried it once and it was great. Go get a spoon, okay? <laughs> careful, oh, careful, careful, go get a spoon. Okay, let's see what else the comments. You just bought 20, let's see, 20 pounds of ground beef and canned it all, that's great. That's fantastic. I need to learn more about canning because I, you know, I don't know what I'm doing, but I do, I have done like, um, I just need to get on it. I feel like it's very intimidating and I don't want to, oops, be careful. I don't want to like break the glassware. I have a lot of jars, but I don't know if I have to buy new jars. Um, do I have to buy new lids? Do I have to buy, you know, what do I have to get? Um, because I hate to spend money on something that I'm not going to use because it's just a waste. So I'm like uh, kind of intimidated, you know, by the canning process. I've done sous vide. I have a sous vide uh, machine. I think I got it for Christmas or something years ago, or maybe it was on Black Friday. But I do make uh, my husband some um, sous vide egg bites, like in, a, in jars. And I've been able to do that without busting too many jars. Uh, I, I guess I'm just not... Um, I, I'm not aware of like the rules and things for canning, so I just need to look it up. But I do have a friend that likes, she likes to can like everything. I've seen her jar spaghetti before, um, or just can like all of her homegrown veggies, which I need to do because I always end up with like too many um, tomatoes. And I, I was reading up, tomatoes seem to be really tricky. So I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> I wanna like can my own tomato sauce and um, salsa, you know, cause I, I have like, an abundance of tomatoes. And I actually have a garden in the front yard now. So I'm um, trying to grow some vegetables for the neighborhood too. So that way they have access, you know, to pick their tomatoes out front and they can just grab what they need. Um, because I have a neighbor who has chickens. He'll bring me some eggs sometimes. So I kind of want to like return the favor, um, you know, and we can all just kind of trade and kind of save money that way. Cause he's already got chickens. If he has extra eggs, I'll take those off his hands cause we'll eat eggs anytime. And then they can just pick their own veggies. They've got zucchini out front. I started corn, but it's been so cloudy that it uh, prematurely tasseled. And so I'm just gonna have to pull it because it's, it's not gonna be corn. It's just plants right now. Let's see. Do not use pasta sauce jars. It has to be jars that are specifically sold for canning and come with a two piece lid. Okay. I can reuse the jar and the ring, but not the flat piece. Oh, okay. That's really good to know. Thank you. Um, I'll definitely take all the tips. If you're watching this later, please put your tips down below on canning. If you have any canning tips or your um, meal planning recommendations, if you have any recommendations for recipes for me this week. Yes. Thank you so much. Okay. So I think that's it though. I don't have a ton of other, um, ideas for dinner, but you saw the deals that are having at Aldi and at Bonds. You can kind of get an idea. Um, fruit again, I always buy on sale. It's a great side dish, especially for breakfast. Breakfast for dinner is always a good option too for dinners and, um, stocking up on the meats when you see a good deal. So a lot of times, um, some people recommend going to grocery stores late at night, like right before they close and going to the meat section. And you can also see which items are 50% off or even more because they're like, well, we can't sell it tomorrow. We have to sell it today or it goes in the trash. So it doesn't mean it's bad. It just means that you have to cook it within the next couple of days or you can freeze it right when you get home. And that way, you know, you take advantage of the, the deals. That's another way to save money, you know, on meat. So let's see. You started your, Katie's Kitchen, you said you started your channel as an excuse excuse to try planning. <laughs> oh yeah, it's, um, it definitely takes like a lot of uh, time at first <laughs> to kind of, you know, get into the, the um, rhythm of things. But once you get the hang of it, it's like second nature, you know, cause you'll, you'll just take your inventory before you go to the store and then you'll know in your head like, okay, this is what I can make. And you just write a quick list so that way you can hold yourself accountable. And the imp important thing though is to not forget your list. At the beginning when I used to forget my list all the time, I'd take a picture just in case. So um, now I'm good at remembering, but I would make my list, take a picture just in case I forgot to grab it on the way out. So um, it has saved me thousands of dollars just planning ahead of time. And I still have plenty, as you can see, a stockpile without having to go over budget. And again, um, our budget is $50 a week for a family of four. So I could, I did do five weeks of only spending $25 too, just using the, the stockpile. And again, it was like um, frozen veggies, 
meats that I froze and rice, beans, um, pasta, you know, so just going through what I had on hand. So you were pretty organized and tidy till you had a baby, Katie. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I completely understand that. I've got two kids, so, uh, things are crazy around here. And in fact, I've got to go here in just a second because my, um, son is done with his snack and his tablet. So <laughs> we're going to go play now, but thank you so much for joining me. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'm going to come back here in just a little bit, answer about a bunch of questions and I'll look at your suggestions and things like that. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful day. And if you haven't subscribed, please do, because I'm going to have some, I'll take it. I'm going to have some meal plans coming soon. I have two already, and I'm going to have some for two weeks using $75 coming up pretty soon. And of course, every, every week I do a vlog showing my organic gardening and the recipes that I've made for the week to kind of help you um, get some motivation to kind of, you know, figure out what you can do to save more, more money and also some cleaning motivation. Uh, because I know we all need that in my house is, oh. it tends to be kind of a mess. There's always something. Oh, to clean. So, <laughs> okay. Have a wonderful day again. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.